when you think luxury, the word road trip doesn't immediately come to mind. But as they say in the classics, gentlemen, start your engines. The Mornington Peninsula is an easy one-hour drive from Melbourne. Just follow the Mornington Peninsula freeway until you reach Red Hill. And here's a tip, if you want to take the scenic route to Red Hill, make sure you take the Arthur's Seat Road. Because that way, you'll have plenty of opportunities to stop and enjoy the view. Just a few minutes up the road, you'll find Red Hill's newest winery, Port Phillip Estate. The building is a work of art. Operations manager Roger Lancia tells me it took three years to design and four years to build. This is what I call a staircase. Yeah, very much so. Built on site and um, designed to age very, very gracefully over the years. So, Be here a lot longer than us, I reckon. I think you're right. This is the, probably the best example of the rammed earth wall. Uh, this one here is 13 and a half metres high. It's the tallest rammed earth wall in the Southern Hemisphere. Winemaker Sandro Mosell reckons no visit to a winery is complete without a complimentary tasting. So Coxie, would you like to have a taste? Oh, I'm much straight from the barrel. That'd Absolutely. be great. It's like an afterbite or an aftertaste at the, at the back of your throat. Yeah, this wine's only halfway through its maturation in oak. That's all the tannin. So in about six or eight months' time when we bottle that, that'll all be gone. There's a reason people say wine gets better with age. Hopefully, I'll find something more to my taste at the cellar door. This is the 2008 Keong Estate Pinot Noir. What should I be tasting? Well, you should be getting some very vibrant cherry and raspberry aromas, but also a lot of savoury notes. Oh, that's more like it. I, th I think I possibly should have a bottle of that. What do you think? I think that's a very good idea. <laughs> Not one to drink on an empty stomach. It's off to the kitchen to see about lunch. Now, Simon, I've got this bottle of wine. Can we match it up with some food? Yeah, we sure can. Uh, our Kuyong Pinot Noir will go perfectly with uh, some local venison. Head chef Simon West dishes up lunch and dinner on Friday and Saturday nights. You can cut this, this venison for me while I start making the mushroom do itself. What, just okay. cut? Yeah, you just, I just want a nice thick chop. OK, a nice thick cutlet. Right. Just go right through that bone, give it a nice chop. That's it. Now, I'm just doing this very quickly because I don't want to cook them at this stage, I just want to seal them. All right, we take a little bit of this mushroom duxelle mixture, just get it into a nice little shape, something like this. We're just going to place that on the, on the cutlet. And we're just going to encase that mushroom in that bacon like so. Now what we're going to do is wrap it in this core fat. I've never seen this before in my life. Okay, well this is, it looks like a fishing net. You can wrap this one up. Yeah. This is a, a natural casing. You just need to encase what? the whole cutlet. What, just roll it or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Roll it over the top. Yeah. It'll stick to it as you go. So I'll just put the venison into this pan now. This membrane here will almost disappear. All right, so we should have a nice little bit of colour there now. So that yeah, it's nearly all gone. the membrane starts to melt away. Yep. Yeah. Your one's falling apart. Mate, there is no need for that. Like, yours does look a tad better than mine. All right, so our completed dish, Coxie. We've got the venison cutlet, the mushroom duxelle, soft polenta, roasted shallots, and our local blackberries. Fantastic. Well, I've got the wine, and uh, I'll see you in the restaurant. Cool. Boys, we've got the food, we've got the wine. Great company. I mean, bon appetit. Let's go. Thanks, Coxie. After all that food and wine, if you need a little siesta, well, they've got accommodation on site. And let me tell you, it's pretty specky. All apartments boast sumptuous king beds, private living rooms, spacious en-suites, and of course, the very latest mod cons. And the best bit is, if you stay the night, well, obviously, you won't need these. Coming up, we tackle 308 kilometres of Victorian bitumen. Mount Bogot, is that an Aboriginal name? It is, yeah. People say it uh, means big fella. Ha! Named like, after me! Like you. <laughs> <laughs>